Hi, welcome to this short briefing. We are going to talk about the flight control check. The flight control check is probably one of the procedures that has always been performed since the beginning of aviation, regardless of time, place, or type of aircraft. However, the flight control check is not only an historical heritage. It remains a necessity even on the most modern aircraft types that are fly-by-wire equipped. On Airbus types, the objective of this check is to perform an ultimate verification of the entire flight control system before the aircraft goes airborne. Indeed, the flight control check enables the verification of the side sticks connection, the appropriate response of the flight control computers, and the correct and full deflection of the flight control surfaces. In case of icing conditions, particularly in freezing precipitation, pilots will pay special attention to the flight control check to confirm that the flight control surfaces are not blocked with ice even after de-icing. This recommendation is part of the supplementary procedure for adverse weather in the FCOM. The flight control check is normally part of the taxi procedure. However, due to its size, the A380 requires extra vigilance in terms of obstacle clearance. For this reason, Airbus recommends that the flight control check for the A380 is done when the aircraft is stopped, typically after engine start. The flight control check may also be required following system reset, affecting one of several flight control computers on ground. In such cases, pilots must always follow the guidance provided by the appropriate section of the system reset table published either in the QRH or in the FCOM. If the flight control check is performed during taxi, the check should preferably be performed when taxiing on a straight line. The flight control check should be avoided when performing maneuvers that require pilots' extra vigilance. During taxi, it is fundamental that the pilot flying keeps his head up and looks outside at all times. Flight control checks should never be done at the detriment of the situation awareness and obstacle clearance. In some circumstances, such as low visibility operations, it is preferable to stop the aircraft before performing the flight control check. The description of the flight control check is provided in the Fly Crew Techniques Manual. This check is common to all Airbus fly-by-wire types. The basic principle is to correlate the action on the side stick or rudder pedals with the flight control system response as perceived on the ECAM system display. On ground, and if no system page is manually called on SD, the flight control page is automatically displayed as soon as any side stick is moved. As a rule, full control input must be held for sufficient time for full travel to be reached and indicated on the flight control page. At a convenient stage, before or during taxi, and before arming the auto brake, the pilot flying announces flight control check, then silently applies full longitudinal and lateral side stick deflection. Flight control check. Full up. Full down. Neutral. Full left. Full right. Neutral. On the flight control page, the pilot monitoring checks and calls out the full travel of elevators and aerons and the correct deflection and retraction of the spoilers using the appropriate callout. Then, the pilot flying presses the pedal disconnection push button on the steering hand wheel before checking the rudder. Indeed, rudder pedals have a limited but real authority on the nose wheel steering. Pressing the steering hand wheel push button enables the temporary disconnection of the rudder pedals from the steering system. 
Maintaining the pedal disconnection push button pressed, the pilot flying announces rudder, then silently applies full left and full right rudder before returning to the neutral position. The pilot monitoring follows on the rudder pedals and confirms on the SD that each full travel or neutral position is reached using the appropriate callout. Rudder. Full left. Full right. Neutral. Finally, the pilot monitoring applies full longitudinal and lateral side stick deflection and on the flight control page, Sightlandy checks the full travel and the correct sense of all elevators and ailerons in addition to the correct deflection and retraction of all spoilers. There is no need to repeat the rudder check since the pilot flying and pilot monitoring pe rudder pedals are mechanically linked. Airbus has regularly received questions regarding the appropriate order of actions for pilot flying and pilot monitoring checks. Should it be pitch first then roll, right then left? The order is not actually prescribed and is not a fundamental aspect of the check. The most important is that the flight controls check never becomes a routine. Both pilots must remain actively involved and the flight control system response must be carefully correlated on the ECAM system display. As an instructor, it is important that during training, you remind the, your trainees the following three points. The objective of the flight control check is to perform an ultimate verification of the integrity of the entire flight control system before the aircraft is airborne. Second, the flight control check must never be a routine and both pilots must be actively engaged and the response of the flight control deflection must be carefully analyzed. Finally, this flight control check must never be performed at the detriment of the pilot situation awareness. Obstacle avoidance remains the priority, particularly in low visibility conditions. If necessary, stop the aircraft. I hope you enjoyed this briefing on flight control check and I'll see you around for the next one.